Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Cradle of Civilization playing as Akkoyunlu or however you are supposed to say that. All right, well, uh, in the last video, we covered a lot of the big changes that occurred in the expansion. I know we didn't get a lot of gameplay. I'm hoping to make up for that today. See what we can get. Administrators from the Dimmy. Traditionally, the Dimmy are excluded from service in many... This is one of our estates, by the way. These guys right here. Uh, given the faithful Muslim literati, blah, 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 blah. We could get some stuff from them. Advisor cost reduction. And they gain influence. Okay. Uh, influence with them gives me tolerance of heathens, so that would be good for reducing uh, unrest in our Coptic lands, or they gain loyalty but lose influence. Well, if they go down to zero influence, that doesn't gain me much, does it? So I guess we'll go ahead and give them some influence. Tolerance of heathens, reduce the unrest a tiny bit in our Coptic provinces for all the good that it will do us. We actually may want to consider going down for more mysticism just so I can convert these guys first. And then once I have some religious unity, we're in a little bit better of a position. I'm not sure yet. Let's go ahead and retreat some of our troops. There's not a lot of point in keeping them here uh, and taking attrition since we can't actually do much. So we're right now training up a couple more cavalry. I should be able to use this pretty quickly once these guys have fully reinforced. Uh, we actually need to move you. There we go. Okay. So we're trying to turn these guys into a vassal if I can. Kara is claiming stuff against me. That's mean. Political crisis. The political crises may occur from time to time. Let's see. Our leader is just, which means we could lose the stability, lose legitimacy, or a chance of gaining prestige or just losing legitimacy, which is not bad. And we lost legitimacy. Darn. Oh, well. A little bit too much to hope for, I think. Our son is a bold fighter. That helps. Helps a lot, actually. Uh, can I increase my maintenance a little bit? Just trying to speed this along, reinforce a tiny bit faster. They discovered my spy network, have they? Well, let's go ahead and get our claim against Tau, since that's all we can do. And then I'll go ahead and start spying on Trebizond. And let's get a royal marriage going with the Mamluks to secure this alliance. Ozma, a 433 is our new Sultana. That's not too bad. All right. And look, it does actually give us a pop-up. We can invite a scholar from the Shafa'i, which is the legal school that the Mamluks follow. So if we wanted to... We could invite their scholar, spend 50 admin power, and gain a merchant. Not sure that I want that right now, but it's good to know that they give you a pop-up so you don't miss out. That's kind of cool. All right. Um, who hates Kara? Ajam. Maybe we should improve relations with Ajam. Now, right now they're fighting the Timurids, but we'll see how long that lasts. Let's go ahead and spend a little time improving with them. That might be a worthwhile alliance. We'll kind of see. Just need these guys to fully reinforce and we'll be good to go. Little bit more. I guess we can go ahead and start moving these guys in now. 8.9, not quite, but very soon. Oh, come on. 20 men off. Okay, we need a little bit more maintenance, I'm afraid, or else we're not going to be able to make progress here. There we go, there's 9. Okay. Now we're going to make some progress. We're losing a bit of money, but whatever. As long as we can win this siege, take him as a vassal, it won't be so bad. So I could try hiring somebody. Unfortunately, we only have Copts. As our administrative advisor options. Then we have these guys. Now. It doesn't say. Does it? Does it say whether their religion changes their cost? It doesn't seem to. This guy is of our Kurdish culture. An accepted culture. And he's Sunni. And he costs 0.86 per month. This guy is Armenian and Coptic. But he doesn't cost more. But he does cost a little bit here. I think it's mostly events that can happen if you get... Um, non-accepted cultures or the wrong religion with your advisors, I think. But that's obviously something we kind of need to experiment with a little bit later. Should be kind of fun. Mamluks are continuing to influence a lot of people around them. What the crap is going on down here? Hello. A lot of little new nations killing each other, eh? Treason against Akkoyunlu. Recruitment is out of necessity, something that should be a decentralized affair. The nobles are messing with me. Lose army professionalism and we lose manpower in a province, or the emirs lose loyalty, we gain army professionalism, reassessment survey, gain a ton of unrest. Well, all we'd be doing at that point is guaranteeing a uh, rebellion, a very quick rebellion, too. These are Coptic zealots, right? Yes. Uh, what size would it be? 12,000? Oy vey. This is a problem, actually. That's huge. No. 
Um, I think we're going to go ahead and lose the army professionalism. There's not much we can do about these Coptic Zealots, unfortunately. They go up pretty quick. Twelve's more than I can handle. The Palatinate became the Emperor. What? Seems weird. The unrest is pretty low in Mush. If we can finish this war quickly, then maybe we can at least put this down and stop its development from contributing. That might make it possible for us to actually beat down the rebels, but we'll see. Let's fabricate a claim against Trebizond. Other thing that we could try to do is declare a war and hope that the rebels kill them. It's an option. We can use them against them somehow. Let's pull off a Trebizond. Don't need that anymore. A Jam. Hmm... So you're not willing to do an alliance right now because I'm at war. If we weren't, you'd be interested. And if you weren't at war with the Timurids, I would also be interested. But that's just sort of the way the cookie crumbles right now, now ain't it? Placated the Ottomans. Good. They're not going to be as eager to kill me. Let's see. The rival of a rival. Make Imredi like me more. Or we could conquer Tau, which I already want to do. Now, I had thought about making these guys into a vassal, so doing that would be a problem. Imredi? We might be able to use them temporarily against some people. Religious unity is not going to happen. Um, You do like me a little bit. Maybe we could do that mission. I wanted to make these guys into a vassal so I could feed them Imredi, Georgia, and so on instead. I mean, I could conquer the land, but... Mm. Um, Let's go for a new friend. The rival of a rival. Maybe we can promise these guys some land or something, and uh, they'll be interested in joining in some wars, even if we don't give them anything. Yes, that sounds like the sort of thing that I want to do. <laughs> we'll see. All right, please finish this before the Coptics become a problem. Oh, crap! Kara, dang it! Okay, Kara declared war on these guys, which means if I take them as a vassal, we'll get called into a war. Uh, a defensive war, I think the Mamluks would help me with. Is that good, actually? Oh... That might be good. I need to bring up my army maintenance, unfortunately, so that we can get ready for a war. But that actually could be really good for us. It's an opportunity. If if it's... Okay, so if it's working the way I think it does. Kara declared war on them. If they become my vassal, it's defensive war, right? Which means we can call in the Mamluks? Maybe. I want to make sure that I'm not forgetting that mechanic. But there we go. Because now's kind of the do or die moment. I'm going to save my game real quick and make sure that that works the way I think it does. Okay, so let's see what happens. If I make them a vassal, we will get called into a war. If Kara has to fight the Mamluks, the Mamluks are stronger and can beat them down. It's an opportunity, actually, for me to try taking some land and weaken Kara really early on. Maybe even steal some of their vassals. Not too sure yet. We're going to get a diplomat back. Let's pull off of the Ottomans. And let's see what happens. Hello, rebels! Well, that gives me a little bit of buffer space, I suppose. Let's sue for peace. So I'm going to take you guys as a vassal, make you give up your claims, and give me your 71 ducats. Okay? That's going to call me in on a war. Does it tell me ahead of time if it's a defensive war? It actually isn't telling me here, I think, that we would get called in on the war, but I know we would. Alright. Done. We get called in. Now we're at war with Kara. Wow. We are in control. Leadership in the war. Okay, does the Mamluks have not been called in? Called arms! Mamluks! Kill them for me! Let's go kill your vassal. They're dead! Nice! Oh! Crap! Here comes Kara. Okay, maybe I can maybe I can last just long enough to retreat, but here come the Mamluks. We're at a pretty sizable disadvantage to start us off. Don't get stack wiped. All right, here come the Mamluks. I don't think I can hold out anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and retreat to let's say here. Okay, I lose a little bit of war score. I've lost a few men, but oh well. Mamluks are in, and we didn't have to wait for the favors. That actually could work out really well for me. It's a great opportunity to take a lot of goodies. Go, Mamluks, go! And you have vassals and stuff. I can just sit back and let you do all the work. <laughs> this is way easier than it's supposed to be. Pretty sure. Okay, well... Let's go down here and just say that we're helping, at least. Nobles demand increased pensions. Of course they do. Can't lose the stability. We're gonna go ahead and have to accept that. I would like to get up to level 1 stability. It would cost me a bit of admin power, but I think it's worth it. 150... Religious disunity is a problem, but yeah, let's go ahead and get that now. 
Uh, the Coptics are now going to be a bit of a problem for me, but what can I do? Go forth, Mamluks! Find their troops and kill them all! Maybe I can keep my troops in mush and try to put this down just enough. Well, let's see. Okay, now it's noble rebels instead. Hang on. Coptic zealots, it still says 12. Two provinces. Hmm. Not sure I can put this down anymore, actually. But we'll try. Let's get up here. Show province. Yeah, I need way more troops before that's going to be allowed. Hmm. How many uh, troops do I need to siege this down? It's level 1 fort. Maybe we can start making progress here, get some war score. Alright, we'll do that. In the meantime, also start looting and stuff like that too. Should be alright. What's this new button here? Siege view. Oh, cool. You can just click on this right away and see that. Oh, I like that. That's a nice feature. Thank you, Paradox. Kara, you're very screwed. The Mamluks are coming down hard on you. You were a fool. He couldn't possibly have predicted this. This was just straight up an outmaneuvering thing. Actually, you know what? Let's just screw, screw it. Call to arms all the peoples. We might as well just have overwhelming force. Why not? We have allies. It's a defensive call now, technically. Bye, Kara. You're losing some of your men. Okay. This is easy enough. My waifu is laughing over here a little bit. The plight of Urzurum. All of Ak Koyunlu suffers in war, but those provinces which lie in the path of the enemy suffer the worst. I guess I'll spend some money rather than lose the local goods, but, uh... I mean, we did a pretty good job of re-sieging you, so shouldn't be a problem. Whatever. Now, Kara does have quite a few little vassals. Where are they? These little guys up here. So, one here and one here. Maybe I can have you transfer vassalage. Possibly. Let's see. Release nations. Cancel subjects. No, I don't want to cancel. I want to take them myself. Humiliating my rivals are pretty good early on. I would love to get that power projection. An old treaties. Alliance. Sure. Release nations. Eh, it would weaken them, but it wouldn't do a lot else. No. It's not really giving me the option. Either that or I'm just missing something obvious, but... I don't see the option to have them uh, transfer their vassal to me. So what we'll probably have to do is just take a lot of land, right? We can give some land to our other vassal, though. That'd be easy. Gain 3% army professionalism. Nice. So you get some benefits. What happens here? So now we're up to 3%. Doesn't seem to have done much else, to be honest, but... There you go. And there's the cops. Okay. Mamluks, are you willing to go and kill them for me? I would appreciate that. Okay, these guys like me now. If we weren't at war, we could do that. Hmm. We can finally start trying to convert somebody. I guess we might as well go ahead and try. They've already rebelled, so what else is going to happen? Not much. Okay, and there goes a capital down. Um... I want to kill these guys, but I'm going to need help. Now, I can't... What happened to the whole army stack on me thing? That's the new button? It's not like a little check mark? Allow armies to attach here? Okay. Let's see what happens. Get your troops together. Come help me. we got to kill the cops. The Renaissance has begun. All right. It is time for the first institution to fire. Where did it fire, I wonder? It fired in Siena. Okay, congratulations, Sienna. I mean, it always fires somewhere in that region, so... Should be fine. The cops are still moving. Gonna need some help here, Mamluks. I get that you're interested in still helping here, and that's fine, but... Okay. Uh, We can try converting Mush, I guess, but the cops are gonna come here next. Now, this is Mountains with a better general. So, we have a slight combat advantage here. We might be able to beat them on our own, but we're gonna take a lot of losses in the process. We need a new mission. I could just go for Conquer Tau, and that would give me the uh, prestige and manpower I need. Um, yeah, alright. We'll just go ahead and do that. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. We have maxed out our relations with Imreti. Okay. Probably could get an alliance there if we so desired. Hijaz, vassal of the Mamluks, are getting killed. Oh. Okay, they decided to go to the Highlands instead. Well, I have a fort advantage here. We could kill them. 
Let's see if any of our other Muslim uh, allies decide to finish up with their sieges and come help me. Here comes Karaman. They're going to mush. Well, that's what I wanted. So come up here and come here. Will you assist me, please? Okay, they are coming in. And we have the fort bonus and they're dead. Okay. Not bad. Let's send all of our men up here. The fort should take this back on its own. And the cops have been dealt with. Merchants are suffering. I guess we'll just accept the uh, reduced merchant power for the time being. There we go. And Kara's still going around killing some of the little guys, but I think the Mamluks have an incentive to come and kill them too, so we'll be fine there. You're not going to work on Yerevan, are you? I guess we'll go do that for you. We're losing manpower, but it's okay. As long as we win. How is my tribal unity working? Our tribal allegiance. It's still at 13. So even though we're killing rebels... It doesn't seem like we're actually getting anything from that. Okay, that's good to know. I wasn't sure if killing rebels was going to give you tribal allegiance. Would have been nice. The worldly ulima. Not all members of the ulima are great theologians. Is this an estate as well? Yes. Okay, so this is our version of the clergy. Corruption and stuff like that. We could gain corruption. They gain loyalty. We lose taxes and corruption. Or they lose loyalty. We lose corruption. I like that because what I can do right now, since I'm running out of money is debase my currency, which gets me some corruption. And then only traders have anything to fear. There it goes. No corruption, but we get 28 ducats. It's going to have to be good enough for the time being. I really can't afford to keep doing this war because I'm losing money very quickly. Declining power of the emirs. Eh, it's going to have to be okay. Actually, speaking of the estates, we should go and see if we can do anything with them. Demand military support for some power. It's tempting. We're not too far off of getting tech. I would like that, actually. Let's call it diet. Uh, let's recruit a general to get influence, and then let's demand the military support. We can impose a new religious tax, which gets me some money, but they lose loyalty. And I need money, so that's probably okay. Anything else I can do with you, though? Recruit minister. Lighten their burden. Promote them to nobles. And recruit for manpower. But I don't see anything that gives me monarch points, so... This will be our emergency option. Merchant guilds, we will... I don't know, there's not a lot to be gained out of this. I can't get enough um, influence, I think, to do this. Still, we could get some money if I had to. And here, let's seek their support. And then, let's demand some power from them. And we could make a generous donation, and grant monopoly charters, and ask for a contribution, and there we go. Okay. That was a way of getting some free Monarch points. So, do we want to go for the Diplotech? I'm still a little off of being able to get the military technology. We'll have to wait on that. It's probably going to be fine, though. We've lost our Diplomatic Casaspelli against our guy. That's fine. He's my vassal, so I don't care. And here comes Kara. But we have some reinforcements. Why is my morale so low? It shouldn't be that... Oh my god! How'd he win that fight? We had so many more troops than he did. Wow! Okay, that hurts. Don't stack on me. Go do other things, Karaman. I have to lick my wounds for a little bit. Let's go to my own lands and just sit back and do nothing. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and reduce my army maintenance because I'm bleeding money. I'm going to have to trust that the Mamluks can finish this on their own. We're at 66% war score already. Maybe it was because it was the mountains and the forts. I bet you that was enough to actually turn the uh, tide there. It's unfortunate, but oh well. Okay. Debate over the philosophy of Ibn Arabi. An Andalusian scholar and mystic regarded by many Sufis as the foremost spiritual master. His pantheistic the uh, philosophy of the unity of being viewed all of creation as a manifestation of God and invited worshippers to see divine beauty in all aspects of life, not merely in the traditional rituals of Islam. Legalism or mysticism? Well, again, I've got a lot of war exhaustion right now. Um, again, if we're going to be doing, we kind of want to do one or the other, right? It's not really good enough to just be kind of in the middle. So if I took legalism, it doesn't do anything for me at the moment. I just become weaker. I think I'm going to go for mysticism so we can convert faster and try to get our religious unity back up. So that increases my missionary strength by a tiny bit, like 0.2. Not a lot at all. I need to reduce my army maintenance all the way because I am completely out of money. My ar Oh, gosh. Dang the war exhaustion, though. I'm going to have to spend this down, aren't I? I can't have it this high. Unless I can end the war, like, now. We're at 92%. Let's go ahead and see what we can do real quick. If I took, let's say, some land here. Took your money. Can't take that much money, but you have some. 
I would rather get Humiliation and War Reps. That's 80%. And then take some land from your Vassal. And then I could take a bit more. That's 100%. Gets me a little bit more provinces. It would cost me 138 admin power to core all of this. Four provinces for me, it's actually going to be a little bit cheaper if we hand one off to our vassal. Uh, is an option. Wouldn't mind getting a bit of extra land to help me snowball out of control here. Is this Sunni land? Yes, okay. So it's not Shia, at least. What kind of development are we looking at here? 3, 6, 12, and 6. Livestock, grain, sugar, cloth. It's not bad. It's really a question of, do I want that or do I want money? I get 30 ducats or a province. Am I willing to spend 30 ducats to get a province? The answer probably has to be yes, right? I think so. So I think... But I'm about to go bankrupt. Well, I could just take a loan. A loan's not the end of the world. All right. We're going to do this, then. This is where we're going to take off of Kara. So thank you, Kara, for giving me four free provinces. Five, sorry. And uh, also the extra power projection, which translates into extra monarch points. We will get how much? 37 power projection for ourselves. Also, by the way, if I did ask for money, a lot of it would go to the Mamluks because they got most of the war score. So, yeah, this seems reasonable to me. Done. Thank you, foolish Kara. Okay, now... Oh! Crap, I gave this to my vassal, too. Wait, who had this? Oh, shoot. Faddle? Faddle. Fiddle faddle. We didn't take this land for ourselves at all. We gave it to a vassal of the Mamluks. Well, that wasn't nearly as good as I thought it would be. Um, oh well. The war was still worth it. Do I give this to a vassal or keep it for myself? I can't really afford the unrest and stuff. I think I still give this to one of my vassals. Yeah, I should have been paying attention there. We didn't have this occupied, obviously. Oh, off to a great start. Well, it's been a little while since I played some EU4. So instead, we only have to core one province. But there we go. We've made our Vass a little stronger. Hopefully, that increases his force limit. Uh, in the meantime, we did get six more developments. The Mamluks, in particular, will be very happy with me. Did we get any favors? Not really, but that's okay. You are a vassal of the Mamluks, but okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, in the meantime, at least it weakens Kara, which puts me in a slightly better position. We could demand a tribal tribute, which gives me extra either cavalry combat ability. Six uh, cavalry archers, so if I wanted to, or if I was... Yeah, I could actually consolidate my army right now and try to get some for free, or I could hold on to it because it results in less unrest and better manpower recovery, which is probably pretty good. Yeah. Now, what I wish I had was money, because money is kind of what I'm lacking right now. But oh well. Let's sit back, and we will improve relations with our vassal for a little bit. We do need to kill these guys. Uh, let us get an ally up here in Emirati. There we go. And we could call them in against these guys. So if I need an ally, this is an easy war for me to win. Too many diplomatic relations, you say? Really? Sure enough. Right, because it took a vassal. Huh. Let us rival Trebelzond, since that's apparently somehow fell apart. Okay, so this is a this is an alliance of convenience. It's got to be very temporary. I will pick up the military tech, and I will pick up the diplo tech. There we go. We are now ahead of time at least a little bit. That helps. <sighs> National unrest, but move towards legalism. I really need to finish converting these guys. And Trebizond immediately once again becomes no longer a valid rival. What the crap? Alright, I could rival Dhul Qadir, but that's only going to upset the Mamluks, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'm debating ending an alliance with, let's say, Ramazan, since they're pretty weak. That said, I don't think the Ottomans are going to mess with them too early on. We'll, we'll keep with it for the time being. We need to get our troops reinforced, build up some manpower, and then we need to go kill these guys. Get some more vassals, get some more lands. Trebizond would be nice to take. Tau would be nice to take. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we need to do here. How are these guys looking, though? Pretty good. Okay. All right. I think we just sort of sit back and wait for a little bit. So, yeah. Oops. Huge mistake. Shouldn't have taken that land. It's a total waste of my time. Should have just taken the money. But I didn't. Oh, well. That sort of thing can happen. We need a lot more manpower. We need 2,000 more manpower to get up to full strength. 
Secrets in our alliance. It's probably fine. Don't think I care. Again, though, I could just consolidate these guys and then try to make up the difference with some new free units. Conscripting from the tribes? It's a thought. It would probably make me really strong to go and kill these guys. I do have a bit of force limit. I think it's actually worth it. We're going to consolidate our regiments. There we go. So we're now down to 7 out of 12. Uh, if I were to pick this up, we would be a little over, but we'd be a heck of a lot stronger, and it's actually a way for me to save a lot of manpower. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, it's probably fine. <clears throat> Let's see, we're at 25 minutes, so I can keep going for a little bit longer. And Mush is unfortunately taking a very long time for me to convert. Family ties, diplo power, and the man looks like me. Nice, I can get behind that. That was pretty good. So how fast am I gaining favors with you right now? I gain a favor every four years. Wow, that's unpleasant. Hmm. Could invite the Shafa'i. Now, this would cost me 50 admin power. Not worth it. Haven't taken the tech yet. Would love to build some mosques. Pretty good for me right now. These guys, you can see right here, are training their troops. I could also train my troops... Because I have no army drill left, but I'd have to pay full army maintenance on them, so I don't think that's quite worth it at the moment. Uh, let's see. A Jom. That was another person I had thought about making a friend. He would be willing to accept an alliance, but if I do this, I need to start abandoning my other allies. Break royal ties would cost me stability. I shouldn't have royal married them is what I shouldn't have done. Alright, I'm playing a little bit sloppy to start me off here, but... I think you'll have to forgive me. It has been a little bit. I'm just making some silly mistakes, little things. It's not like people play this country very often. There's not really any guides on them. But after they got trained up to a tribal uh, tribal federation, at least on like Reddit and stuff, this nation is suddenly getting a lot more attention, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So right before we declare war, I think I go for conscript from tribes. We are a zealot. Hey, extra missionary strength. That's going to make things a lot easier. Thank you. The Coptic Zealots are already getting up for a fight again. This time in Mush. Right. That would be a problem. Could demand my tribal tribute. Yes. Don't want to hire anybody right now. 71 power projection is nice. We're getting that extra monarch points. It's a huge deal. Ethiopia is rivaling the Mamluks. Funny. Funny joke. So if we attack these guys, I could... I already have favors with these guys, do I? Oh, really? Oh! Oh! I've got 10 favors with them. Well, perfect. I could declare this war. Call in Imereti. I'll promise I could promise them land and then not actually give them anything. But that really depends on them not actually sieging any land. What do you want? Let's let's ask that question. Okay, you want Tau. If I were to take Tau first, he doesn't want Trebizond. I don't think he'd siege it. So we would say that these are going to be mine. And if I wanted to call you in and promise you some lands, right? They'd be willing to join in. That's an extra 7,000 troops to help me win the war very decisively. This would actually get me a lot of legalism, though, which means my missionary strength goes down a little bit. I can't co-belligerize Trebizond. If I did that, these guys would be called in defensively, so we can't do it. Um, Yeah, I, I think we can maneuver this in such a way that we call them in, and we still get what we want, and they don't get what they want. They'll be upset with me, and they'll want to break the alliance, but that's okay. I'm over my relationship limit right now anyway. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. All right, we're back up to full strength with our troops. Let's go ahead and conscript from the tribes and get an extra six cavalry. Relations have been improved with Fadal, apparently. So they're all training in one province, but they're training very rapidly. Now, this is going to cost me a ton of money, unfortunately. Let's go for the admin tech. There we go. Okay, we're out of admin power, but that's going to be fine. So now we have ten. Can I cancel it if we're at risk of going over our force limit? That's a good question. Yeah, let's see what happens. If we build up one more, 
right now and then go here and cancel it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Five free cavalry. Of course, I'm grossly over my cavalry limit, but... <laughs> Let's see, hang on, wait a minute, my army... No, my army itself is not consisting of more than 85% cavalry. We're okay, right? Yeah, I think we're actually fine. Interestingly enough, I think we're actually going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, 12,000 men. Let's go ahead and raise up the army maintenance. It's going to cost me a lot of money, but let's get prepared for war. Get some money, some vassals, and assert ourselves a little bit. Spread of extreme practices in Al Jazeera. Interesting. Whirling dervishes. The late Middle Ages saw the emergence of several new forms of Islamic mysticism, one of the most controversial being a brand of Sufi dervishes known as the Renunciationists. We could get legalism or mysticism. Well, I'm about to get a lot of legalism by attacking these people. So it's going to happen anyway. I can commit to that. And then I could pass the sect practices, which gets me an extra 10. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'll lose a little bit of missionary strength, but it's only 1% right now. That said, 1% is a lot right now. Yeah, the, the piety balance thing has always been my least favorite part of the Muslim faith. But, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Total missionary strength in the province is effectively 2%. If we lose 1.3, that goes down to 0.7. So that's why it would take forever to convert. Guaranteeing that the Coptics will be a problem again. That said, we're about to call in a bunch of allies to some wars. Maybe we just accept it. I mean, if I'm about to declare this war anyway, I, I think it's going to happen regardless. We're about to gain 30. So we could either be at 5, or we could be at... Yes, 25. Hmm. I don't know. I really think we need to actually finish up the Copts before I go for legalism. Because that's a huge impact on my national unity. Alright, we're going to gain the mysticism. That's going to increase my effective missionary strength a tiny little bit, and I'm going to have to end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.